is up, lads, and welcome to another episode of the Pez Universe podcast. I'm joined by Aweza FC, who, I mean, he looks a bit angry there, so I'm going to I'm gonna just have to be a bit careful around him tonight. And of course, beside me, it is the main man himself, all the way from Florida, over in the States. An Englishman living in the States. It's uh, He's met at his home now, I'm going to say. He's met at his home. He started calling football, pretty soccer, much. and, you know, pretty much all that, all that, that stuff. Even, even yeah, even is what you know, he's, he's, he's turned into one of those. But uh, it is Ricky, a.k.a. the True Brits. But, uh, I mean, lads, we're going to jump straight into it because, obviously, there's a lot to dissect. We haven't been on a podcast for, I think it's, yeah, we've, like, been two weeks now, uh, Wes, by the time this will go live. So we were waiting for Gamescom. We were waiting for the big bombs, the bombs, plural, to drop. Um and here we are yet again with another mixed bag, I think. So I mean we're gonna we're gonna cover over. I mean anyone that follows Pez or eFootball is gonna know what was, you know, kind of like unveiled or revealed at Gamescom. But I'm gonna open it up with Ricky. I mean, I know you've done a couple of videos, you've gone into some really good breakdowns of what was revealed, what wasn't shown. Um, more importantly, I suppose, but we are gonna cover the main topic tonight of Gamescom, our thoughts now. When we're probably a month before launch of the new eFootball title, or in around that maybe five weeks. So, um, I mean, Ricky, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna jump straight into you because, I mean, I might have to, I might have to rein Wes in a minute because he looks like he's gonna. Come on, getting over undergoing. Come on, getting over undergoing. I'm happy with my words. May or may not be dropped. Yeah, we'll have to have the swear jar. But, uh, Ricky, I mean, first thoughts, honest thoughts. I mean, I know you're gonna be repeating yourself a bit, but just sum up how you felt about the Gamescom trailer for, for anyone that is listening to the podcast that mightn't have seen one of your videos. Yeah, um, I mean, I'd say it's better from the... I don't know if you guys obviously saw the first one that was released, when is it, July? Mm. Maybe? I think it was yeah, July. It so, around, I thought, yeah, it was better, um, but it was still... I Honestly, I just wanted to see gameplay, but we didn't... We saw snippets of gameplay, mm. but we didn't actually see any like actual sort of like 1v1 um you know the color schemes one thing because that was straight away it was just like what are you trying to do here you know <laughs> just blind us with this blue crazy ugly font which you know fine a font i've had a few people come in my videos and it's like it's just actually someone said it's just a color we can mod it mm. it's like how does that work it's on console mate you're not gonna be able to mod anything on console the colors there that's it it's mm. it's finished so yeah it was actually if i'm waiting let me one sec let me just actually i should probably bring up some points because <laughs> I've honestly forgotten half the stuff <laughs> from uh, the preparation. Yeah, folks. this is the professional welcome, welcome podcast that you're used to, lads. Come on, this is it. One take know, podcast so straight in. Uh, anyway, anyway, yeah, it was. I didn't even start. It was the it was the Star Wars esque scroll yes. text down the page, yeah. um, showing all of the clips that you were then going to see further on in yeah. the trailer. Anyway. No voiceover. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, you know. That, yellow that, text yeah, that's on the that green yeah, grass yeah. and yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so it like look if if we're going on yeah so the there were parts of the trailer i liked the look of i actually thought graphically in parts like when ronaldo was in the tra- in the uh, in the tunnel and they were showing snippets of um you know in the locker room that graphically looked good um but yeah i i still feel like the trailer didn't really do it a whole lot of justice once again mm. I'm i'm not gonna touch point on gameplay because i haven't played it i mean none of us have played it since we played the the online stability thing so yeah it was an improvement you could tell that the likes of whedon still you know, they're missing that you know whedon's touch that was just made the traders so much more you know engaging um i just don't think it did a lot to to really like, catch our attention as like a brand new game you've got mm. a, you've got to put something in that trailer that just kind of blows you away and it, it never really did that for me. It was, yeah, I, I was expecting more. I probably say, like I said, I wanted to see actual physical gameplay, but we yeah. didn't get it. So, um, yeah, it was better than the first one, but still not quite like I'd say up to the level of what like FIFA is just you know it's different. It's different yeah, it's in a different fish, league. So. For... It, it is the marketing has just not worked well for Konami this year. Um, I know it's a free-to-play game, so technically they've got nothing to lose in that regard. We're all going to try it, and we're not putting any money in towards it. But um, yeah, for me, better than the first, but not quite, you know, good enough. And I'm sure Weza will tear it apart. <laughs> there he goes. 
Where do, where do we where do we begin? I'm settling we, in. I need a drink. I hope this is vodka. Yeah, I was gonna this. say. I was gonna say if you guys want to take ten and and just and just and just let me run. <laughs> no, I no. I listen. The, there's there's there was for me there was deliberately a reason why we didn't do this podcast straight after the reveal. Mm. Uh, and and the reason kind of for that was is that you can get so many emotional takes on stuff where you can kind of be very reactive to the first time you've seen it and you go oh my god this has happened this is not right this is this is terrible this is this this is that instead we took the approach i would like to say barry where we by we've left it a couple of days we've mm-hmm. let it dissipate a little bit and we kind of then kind of made some more rational looks at it now with that being said those more rational looks for me are the same emotional takes that i took when i first saw the trailer mm. you know you have the star wars text you have yellow text versus green where basically it lo- you're, you're straining your eyes at some points trying to read the thing yeah you then have the the the, the, the myriad of just mistakes that were made in the trailer you've got the fact that they've left the some of the software taking stuff in the top left hand mm. corner of some of the clips You've got the fact that some of the AI movement looks awful in transition. You know, the, the Sule to Ansu Fati pass. It, you see Sule then take three or four steps once that ball's gone so that Ansu Fati can kind of take it round him. It, it looks as though the AI looks a bit just gone. Like mm. it, it, and, and, you know, I, I said to, to Barry pre-podcast, and I'll, I'll say this kind of out there, this this isn't, you know, this, this is eFootball now. This is it. This is there's no point saying that oh well we're still going to call it Pez it's not a Pez game anymore it isn't it's eFootball that's it because Pez for me is consigned to history books now because of the direction they're, they're going yep. in you look at all of the the, the the terribleness that they've done in that trailer and it's it's like it's uh, as, as Ricky alluded to yeah it's slightly better than the last one because yes graphically in places it looks improved but it looks better in the same sense of that you would look at the toilet and go, well, look at the good job that my ass did the last time. That's how <laughs> bad it looks because it's kind of there and you're there trying to entice new players and fan bases. Again, I always take it to my my focus group, which is my <laughs> group of friends who play FIFA, who mm. don't really touch eFootball. And I put that trailer into them and they went, that's seriously the trailer. Mm. And I'm like, yep, yep, that's that's what they've given us. And they're like, what it looks so slow it looks so basic it looks yeah and i'm mm. like oh yeah it does it does look basic it looks as though you know they've hired a graduate student who's trying to get their name out there and they've just gone yeah have a go at a trailer and you know or it's like a fan competition where they've got oh, the best entry gets it mm. like but even then if you had the fan trailer whedon's would make one and it'd be amazing yeah but that, that's by the by it it just feels like they have just kind of taken anything that could have been resembling a football game and have just kind of just completely chucked it into the bin mm. you know the, the the one line that really stuck with me alongside even the sharp kick which is going to be available in an update <laughs> why konami and i'm going to put this question out there and i hope somebody somebody slips into my dms and i hope somebody answers this to me why are you putting stuff in a trailer that is not confirmed to be in the game at launch mm. Oh, we're gonna add DLC. We're gonna add the road. You know, we've got the roadmap, and we've got things coming, and you're gonna have the free to play game. But that's actually gonna be a demo, and actually, it's just nine teams. But then you're gonna have sharp kick and elements of the game, which are then gonna be added by a future update. You know, I saw the gags on social media. It was like, oh, you'll pay an extra ten euros to that input headers. You know, you'll see all of these other weird things that will come down the pipe. But the one line that really, really stuck in my craw for for me being a passionate fan of the series is the very last line of the trailer which is it's going to evolve with the community at what point have they ever involved the community since ps3 gen at what point have they sat there and gone do you know what we'll get you guys involved because at every point that people have talked about white benching they've talked about the ai they've talked about all the different things that can possibly be improved at no point has any one of those jumps been made on any games of the series. We're still getting kickoff goals. It's 2021. We're still getting lazy AI in 2021. We're still getting lack of content in 2021. We're still getting unstable servers in 2021. When are you going to listen? Because at the moment, who's there to tell? Who's there to tell them? 
Like, there is nobody there. There is no community person. There's no outreach. I can't go to somebody and go, by the way, can you give this list of feedback into somebody? I have no one. I can't, I can't give feedback even if I wanted to. So the fact that they're then going to sit there and say, ah, oh, this is going to evolve with the community, and excuse my language when I say this, is complete and utter bullshit. It's absolutely terrible. And the fact that they're saying, oh, well, this game's been two years in the making. On what? On an Atari? What have you been <laughs> making it on? Like, what are you doing? Like, seriously, what are you playing at? And this is meant to be, oh, but it's free to play. We can, we're going to give it a pass. No, it's not. You've taken the game series that was a AAA game made by a AAA company, and now you're making your free-to-play game that feels like it's made by a, an indie dev company at this point. That, that's how I'm feeling about this trailer. Like, granted, even if there was the tiniest bits of positives, they're overwhelmingly overshadowed by all of the negatives that go with it. End the podcast. That's it. That's I, it. I don't, I don't know. And, and as I said in the previous podcast, if they gave me something to praise, cool. I'd be on here going, do you know what? I'm awesome. Like, the point that Ricky made about some of the graphical... You know, it looks very good in places, mm. but then you've got times where it's like, oh, well, you know, you've got players levitating. No, let's not mention the, the social media post that they had to delete because there was a linesman in the middle of mm. the pitch. Yeah. You know, it took them however many hours to remove that. And, oh, well, that, that's a fake image. You have people trying to come out and defend mm. it. Stop trying to defend these people. This is where you need to hold people to account that this stuff isn't good enough. This is it. This is where you're at now. You're getting into this zone of people where they're going, ah, oh, we're just going to defend it because we're going to hold on to these memories that we've got. This is a brand mm. new game series, if, if it's to be believed from the press releases and everything. It's a brand new game series. Treat it as such. It's a brand new series. If you had this from a brand new game that launched, which I'm sure we're going to go on to with the likes of UFL and goals, mm -hmm. if they came out in the morning and had a linesman in the centre of the pitch, they'd be laughed out of the building. Mm. No, they definitely... Right. Okay. I, <laughs> I, I disagree with you in some parts. I do agree with you. I don't think anyone could defend the trailer, right? That's the first yeah. thing. And me and you, we obviously it, like yeah. over WhatsApp and stuff like group chats, whatever. Like, I think there's a very fine line between criticizing what's like not good enough and then having a different opinion on like what we don't know yet. You know what I mean? Like what Ricky yeah. is saying there that like, them things to me, like the linesman and stuff like that, like them, them things wouldn't infuriate me. And maybe that's because like, maybe it should, like maybe it should infuriate me as much as it's infuriating you. It's just oversight of like, yeah. you know, they can never just smash it, like never just come out with a, you know, a class trailer and whatever, and just say like, right, that was really, really cool. Get everyone talking, you know, brilliant. Maybe drop a Castolo tease at the end of a trailer or like the legend returns or something. They don't, yeah. they don't think along those lines. You know what I mean? So like, for us to kind of for me where i'm at with it is that like i watched you know a lot of a lot of people's reactions over the last few weeks as we've or the last few days as we've said was like you know we kind of deliberately said right give it a few days to breed and yeah, yeah. germinate and see what people think not that it would impact my opinion uh, but just yeah, to see you know let's just see what the community are thinking yeah. and like i do kind of agree with you that the trailer for selling the game and marketing the game was atrocious like it was i don't think any you know what i mean i don't think anyone no, could say that from an actual forget that it was a pez or e-football or football game like as a trailer showcasing something like it, it just wasn't good enough and all of us have dabbled with content creation and everything to different degrees and like yeah. that's very basic basic stuff that you don't put you know yellow text on like a green pitch you know what i mean and stuff like that and showcasing yeah. the game when there's you know glaring errors there of clipping and stuff like you want to showcase the game at its best even if there is issues you know that's just marketing 101 kind of but like i dis where i disagree with you is is that like i do think that i think this is like this is such a different like launch for konami now that everything we're holding against them for you know a pez like let's just say that they hadn't gone this direction let's just say we were looking at pez 2022 coming out fox engine it was going to have a new you know mode or new features or new master league built from the ground up whatever right say forget about unreal engine yeah. like i think a lot of people would have been happy with that right and a lot of people would say like yeah i mean that would that's all i want if you go on twitter and you look a lot of people would say oh, i just wanted a proper master league and a proper this and a proper that but like unfortunately for us and guys that have played pez for a long time that's no longer 
what Pez is. You know what I mean? Pez oh, yeah. is yeah, now a mobile, like it's so big, you know, it's it's one of the biggest games on mobile. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I get it. You know, I, 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 I think that. I was I, looking yeah. the other day like that, like Candy Crush has like a billion downloads. I mean, Pez is nearly half of that. So like, yeah. when you think Crazy. about that, Pez is a niche community. We always talk about Pez as a niche community for a niche game. Like, the mobile version of that is, like, that doesn't apply to the mobile version, yeah, you know what I mean? I, I, so Yeah, I, I totally get that. Like, I, I've mentioned it before, like, the audience that you'll have on a, you know, in terms of physical sales for a game on console is completely dwarfed by mm. what you can get on mobile. I think it's some of what they normally, when I see their campaigns, it's like, oh, we're celebrating 400 million downloads. Yeah, it's massive. It's crazy. And absolutely, you would cater to that audience because you're going to get more more of an income out of that audience my my, re, my issue with the, the the kind of the some of the points in the trailer was was that you kind of you just got that sense of oh well you know it's coming in a future update oh we're, we're going to showcase this now and it's like yeah but what about the game we're getting here like what about mm. You know, the fact that it was called a deep dive. I'm yeah. like, you had seven minutes of a trailer. Mm. You had no narration. You had us reading subtitles rather than yeah. actually. No, the trailer is completely. Through it. You know, it's it's a it's a disaster class. Mm. It really is. And and, and and it comes from a part. Yes, it comes from a part with me where I'm like, yeah, do you know what? I'm a fan of the series. I want it to be as good as it can. And mm. and much like what you've said, you know. The the audience for e football is very much a different audience for for Pez. It is mm. there, there's no there's no getting away from the way that this is being marketed now and the way that the game is moving, uh, at least how it is appearing to be moving mm. versus the games of the past. Like you can't compare how a Pez five or a Pez six was versus what e football is going to be. Like mm. you can't. They're no, going to be can't. very much chalk. They're very much going to be chalk and cheese. Like for me. Do I want to sit there and 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 look at a free game and go? Oh, actually, oh, do you know what? I don't even want to download that. App. Like that that shouldn't be it. And, and my my problem isn't necessarily that 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 how it looks to me. It's how it looks to the outside. It's how it looks to the people who are outside of the community. Yeah. These these trailers, as Ricky said, you're meant to be pulling in new people. Mm, you're meant casuals. to be pulling in the casual people mm. who are watching Super Sunday and halfway through seeing Ronaldo score his first goal for United on his comeback. You see their e football that's around the pitch. You go, oh bloody hell, what, what's that one there? Bang! Mm. I'll have a look at that. And then you go onto the trailer and you go onto the promotional images and you see what you see. Mm. Like that—that's where it gets it stuck in my craw. Mm. It's not necessarily that I am disappointed in it because as Pez fans, we have become used to stuff falling below the the par. Mm. It's but like I, I, you, you, I, knew, I, you knew people coming in. That's that's where the issue lies. I'd it's, argue, it's I'd argue as well, right? That like, I'd argue as well that like when you were saying about community, obviously, you know, obviously we we have a community. You know, Pez Universe is a big community, and like we're we're, you know, we we have you know we've given feedback, we've worked on feedback throughout the years, and I do think that like sometimes when we're talking, it can kind of be. Like, you know, if somebody is just coming onto the Pez scene, they mightn't have the same access. You know, the same as the same as what we had when we started 10, 15 years ago when I started writing, you know, content for Pez. Like, it takes a while to build up that relationship where you're able to actually know what's going on and what the plan is and stuff. I think where Konami fall down is that they don't relay any of that information out. So, like, some people are questioning, you know, was this, like... You know, I see it on Twitter the whole time. Was this game being developed for six or seven months as like a next gen PS5, Xbox Series X only? Something happened during COVID or something happened where they couldn't get the game out and then they changed direction. Like that's not true, but like there's still people thinking that that's the case, that it's yeah. like, well, where is the messy teaser trailer? And I'd argue as well, like what you were saying is that like, and I'll bring Ricky in there as well because you're you know what i would say about the trailer and stuff wes is that like we've had some pretty unbelievable pez trailers i would say over the last couple of years like where i've really enjoyed um i think the pez 16 one was a really good trailer yeah there yeah, was some yeah. really good trailers and like some of the pez games over the last couple of years have got really high ratings you know they've got been they've reviewed very well like you know word of mouth has been really good on them and then three months four months down we're back into this cycle of you know people that stream the game are fed up with it people that are coming over are just seen as casuals that don't really 
have a say because they haven't played Pez, you know, before, and they're like, "Oh, well, I'm playing Pez for twenty years. You don't know what you're talking about." Yeah, I, Do you know I what I mean. Like, there's that. a lot I of that. yeah, there's I a lot of gatekeeping, that and that's that's what I'm yeah. saying is like for Ricky, and I think Ricky made a good point just to bring you back in, Ricky. Like, do you think in the gra- in the grand scheme of things, like, are you? You said there that you thought the trailer was better, like the second trailer was better, right? Slightly. Marginal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, as a disclaimer, but like, do you think that like the trailer in the grand scheme of things, like, does it really matter that it was that bad? Like I'm saying in terms of what the game is going to be when it comes out, like, do you think people are just kind of not able to separate, you know, there's a big difference, I think personally, from being able to showcase a game and actually what a game feels like when you're playing it. And I know we've heard this, the same thing over years and years and years. Oh, you have to play it, you have to try it yourself yeah. and feel it. But do you, do, you, like, do you agree with that, Ricky? Or do you think that, like, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, you can, honestly, yeah. If the gameplay somehow blows you away, then, you know, a trailer's irrelevant. I mean, mm. I don't, it's a, it's a trailer. It's going to give you a tease of, of what you're going to get. Um, so yeah, I don't think anyone, honestly, to be fair, they've probably got more talk about the trailer when it's been horrendous than a, a good trailer. <laughs> so they're still getting some yeah. sort of publicity yeah. out of it. Yeah, that's true. You yeah, know, it, it's, it's just the way they went about it. It's, actually, you know what I did today? I did watch the Pez 14 trailer again. Mm. And it was the Celtic against, it had Celtic in it. And it was, there was no wording. The sound from the crowd was immense. Mm. I mean, they had the Champions League license back then, obviously, yeah, yeah, so yeah, it was different. Did. It was like a three minutes, such a good trailer, just mm. cutscene from cutscene, transition effects were there. It just worked. And and obviously, yeah, they've lost that this year. And ultimately, yeah, I, I don't think a trailer is gonna change anyone's mind if you sit down and you just play it. So for me, yeah, a, a trailer's <laughs> a trailer, but if the gameplay's somehow good, I still I don't think it's going to, from what I played, I don't think it's going to be that different from what we played, mm. um, you know, in July so, or June. So, yeah, for me, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But, you know, I've been going on about it now for months. So <laughs> well, the well, levels have depleted, you know, every, yeah. every, every week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that's, but that's, but that's, that's what it's going to, that's what it's going to do to people. It's going to take the people who are already disgruntled with the series and drive mm-hmm. them further into a hole. And then to your onlookers who are on the outside will just go, what the hell's this? Like, mm. and Grant, as you've said, Ray, you know, and a point that I think was kind of lost out on, a, you know, is, is a point that, you know, we've all made through previous iterations of PEZ and et cetera, is that we always used to go, if the gameplay is good, it doesn't matter about anything else, which is absolutely spot on. Mm, you know, we yeah. always used to, we always used to say about, well, you know what, we can always fix it with an option file. We can always fix it with, with patches and mods and all the rest of it. As long as the core gameplay is good, nuts to everything else, which is absolutely true. PS2 era, they had very few licenses, if any, at some stages, and it was yeah. the best game around. Mm. Like it was. Like, there was mm-hmm. no doubt about it. it. It's just the case now of of what this is going to fall into and you know yeah if it comes out and the gameplay is superb it eliminates anything or any criticism that anybody's going to have had with the trailer there's going to be a lot of people who will probably go like you know what the trailer was awful but this game's amazing Mm. like that that's the way that it will go it'll be like you know what you can roast their marketing team and and, and as ricky said you can roast you know you can roast the trailer you can roast all this stuff but we can't comment on gameplay until we physically have it in hand Mm. but saying that though generally (laughs) if if a company puts out a trailer and it and it generally what your work you know the work you produce is the outcome of what you do. Mm-hmm. So if you see a crap trailer, generally that game comes out and you're like it's not great anyway. The thing with Konami and I feel like they've just they've lost their way. You know, like you said, all this adding post launch, just making stuff up just to keep things relevant instead of just putting a trailer out with stuff you're going to get day one, then put out something else saying this is what's coming post launch. Stop like trying to gel things mm. together. I don't care what's coming post launch because I'm not playing it day one. Yeah. So or, or if or if the game isn't ready in the first place with those key fundamentals in it, don't don't try and release don't try and right. release the game earlier than what it's it's ready. Do you know what I mean? Like I am yeah. not being funny, but like driven like it's essentially driven shots, right? Or it's like driven passes. Right. Mm. Yeah. Right? I would say 
playing a football game, it's a pretty key thing. If you're mm. looking to try and extend the play, if you're looking trying to pass it out to the wing, you're trying to stretch the play, it's a pretty fundamental thing to have in the game. So mm. why is it then coming in a future update? It just doesn't... It, it, it's very much the same line of when they put in team building mode to be confirmed. It's from that playbook. You put that in the roadmap, and then you put sharp kick in a future update in the in a gameplay trailer where you're saying it's a deep dive mm. and and the fact that like i said the fact that it's called it's seven minutes and it's called a deep dive and we're having to just read subtitles and we're not actually not great just, subtitles but well, we're just yeah. not we're just not <laughs> no, no, but it's it's it's, it's almost it's almost like it's almost like you know it's a magician misdirection it's you focus on the, the subtitles at the bottom because you can't see what's going on at the top and because mm. there's nobody nobody you, there's nobody to listen to you wrote, you've got to read that at the bottom, then you've got to go, oh, okay, but I've got to pause that, I've got to rewind it, and then I've got to go watch mm. what's happening up here instead. It's just very, like, it, it's just, it's haphazard. Now, I hope, I hope and I pray, I hope and pray to every, you know, footballing god, footballing video game god that is out there, that this game comes out and it smacks it out of the park, and it just turns around and it's like, yeah, our, our, our trailers were awful, but this game is absolutely amazing. I mm. hope that it does it. I hope I have to come onto this podcast and apologise. I hope I do, but I, I have no hope. Mm. <laughs> I have no hope here. It's, 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 yeah, it's just, it's a really, it's a really sad time to be an eFootball fan. Mm. No, I, from my perspective, I think, anyway. I think it will, like, I think the biggest problem is that I think if you go through the life cycle of every title, like every, every year, like there's been such a mixed bag, like of, gameplay experiences and like ricky you probably know this the most because you know you do reviews with the data packs and you deep dive into what's changed because konami always come out and just say gameplay adjustments and they could have changed yeah. the collision system that you know it's it makes a huge difference to the gameplay and you mightn't see it for the first few hours after a patch but like to the casual player that just picks it up they don't know any different really you know what i mean because they're just picking the game up at that stage you know maybe at christmas they might get it and they're like over three patches in this game feels good like it didn't feel good for the last three months because we were playing a different game do you know that kind of way so like if you look at the game and how it develops throughout the, throughout the year like even with pez 2020 like that is a like that's such a different game even though our pez 21 now with the latest data pack is so different to when pez 2020 when that launched you know what i mean so yeah, yeah. like i went back and was looking at some old videos that i'd recorded just raw footage and like it looks like a completely different game you know what i mean like in like not to maybe the naked eye but when you look at the animations and stuff like there's a load of different animations now than there was back then like they've added stuff in patches that they just don't they don't go in and like explain you know what i mean so yeah. it's strange but then the thing for me is that i just i just think that there's a big like there's a big separation between like what they're doing and what they're actually able to explain what they're doing you know what i mean and we can only take what their what information is out there you know there's no point does forever saying yeah but by christmas it'll be amazing or you know by christmas all these features yeah. will be in it's like you have to judge the game on what's out at the moment you know like mm -hmm. you wouldn't go into the cinema and watch a movie and the lights go on after 20 minutes right lads you know fuck off out now we have to get you know we have to add more bits to the movie like it's just not the way it works like so yeah it'd be, it'd be like it'd be like judging the original justice league but then not not watching the schneider the schneider cut yeah going, well it's, it's it's a poor movie and you're like well actually if you watch that one that was brought out a couple <laughs> years like, actually that's actually really good and mm. it's like oh oh okay like it's once and it's that initial it's that initial entry point that that's my worry it's 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 not necessarily mm. it's not necessarily for the season players that i have an issue like i have a a a, a a a kind of a nervousness for yeah it's it's the casual players this mm. is kind of the way i'm looking at it because i've kind of been that kind of witcher on body for 12 months and have been out in the wilderness playing other games mm. is that you then get a different outlook on it because you go well wait a minute this is what my pals who are now going to start playing are you know like, for example if i took it into my workplace and went oh by the way here's the e-football trailer and they'll probably just look at me and go what like it, it's it's that entry point it's like mm. how do you get people <clears throat> past the trailer to go actually that's that's the that's the the kind of the, the kicker that we've got like in previous years you'd have beckham pop up in a trailer yeah that was the that was the clincher for was it 2016 was well, no sorry 2018 2018 yeah or 17 like, or 18 yeah yeah so 
but he was the clincher because then he turned up. He turns up at the end of the trailer, and bam, he goes and pulls out his pose, and everyone's gasped because it's mm. Beckham. He's in. He's in pairs. Oh my god, this is class. There's yeah. not been any of that this year. Instead, we've got oh well, we've got Andre Iniesta and Gerard Piquet on board as as gameplay advisors, and I'm like they're back again. Yeah, exactly. Mm. We we've had them before, and it's there isn't anything to. It, you know, people talk about oh, well, there's the hype train. It's like there isn't. There's, yeah, there's, no, there isn't at the moment. Even, definitely, they haven't even yeah. built the train station. Let alone got the hype train out. Like, yeah, it's, it's not there, and it's just. Yeah, I think again, this is. How, I think the game. The casuals, that's, I think that's, even that's, though I'm yeah. going to contradict myself now and be taken out of context <laughs> if somebody doesn't watch the full podcast, but I do. I do think that Konami are taking like this, like to heart of like this is going to be a continuous game development. You know what I mean? Like, and that's going to have pros and cons because before, and I know this from years of being involved in the community, especially with edit mode, like. When they removed edit mode from PES 14 and t- d- d- to get that back into PES, into PES games, like the actual edit mode of being able to like, you know, import stuff and, and that, like that was a very late inclusion. You know what I mean? It wasn't. And I think that's what they're going to be doing with this game now is that like, if this was any other year, we'd have to have seen Master League, no matter how good or how bad it was, we'd have to have seen it, right? Because the game would be coming out in two or three weeks time. We'd have to see gameplay. We wouldn't be, you know, having to look at footage of a gameplay trailer and be like, you know, oh, is that is that mobile or is that on PS5? Is that on, you know, PC development, uh, you know, build? Like, yeah. like, why is there shadows on the players here? Why is there not here? Why does the colors look like this? On mo-? Like, we wouldn't. We just have one base version of the game and then that we've had for the last couple of years and they might have been able to go in and do a good trailer. Like, but I think now they're taking that that it's like, we no longer no longer have the constraints of having a nine month development process and they're going to drip feed information out whenever they want to drip feed it because they'll be like well we don't have to sign off on putting this out at a specific date because we're not going gold specifically yeah. you know what i mean like which, they can just pull which... something back at the last second and be like yeah it's not ready yet the game is free to play you know and we'll add it in a future update if it's not ready you know what i mean yeah which is fine if it's aesthetics, if it's like data pack stuff, if it's, oh, well, we've got new sets of boots or we've got new sets of, you know, we've got additional stadiums that we've, we've, we've just acquired the licensing for. Mm. Fine. That's fine. But stuff that could be fundamental to the game, i.e. sharp kick and other things that could still be, oh, well, we're going to find out that they're going to be avid. You know, mm. they could turn around tomorrow and do a, a trailer and go, oh, by the way, teammate press is going to be in the game oh but that's going to be in a future update Mm. those things are fundamental to the actual playing of the game if it's your aesthetics of it if it's like i said stadiums kits uh, (coughs) face packs etc i can understand that as a development so i can understand that being that's coming in a future update but not fundamentals to the actual game that that yeah but if you look at fortnite then ways like if you look at fortnite and like i know you play a lot of fortnite i don't play much but even even warzone like they've added like gameplay mechanics throughout the court like throughout game like you know what i'm saying like they've added things that like if you played if i played fortnite now having not played it in three years like when i'd go back to that game now it would be a different game to me because you know it'd be the same and that's what i think i think we're i think the penny hasn't dropped for a lot of people i'm not saying it hasn't dropped for us but i think anyone listening tonight i don't think the penny has dropped for people when they're thinking about Pez as it's like, oh, so there's no, like, Pez 22 or eFootball, whatever they're calling it. Like, there's no Master League. And it's like, oh, I'm not getting that. Like, it's only all my club. Like, I don't think that they understand that this is basically a Fortnite model for Pez, like, with a name change mm-hmm. and a complete yeah. brand. And I know, like, we don't have, like, I don't, do I like that direction? No. Would I have liked, like, a brand new, you know, next-gen, three-year developed Master League to sink my teeth in and be able to watch Ricky with some beastly videos? Yeah, I would. But, like, this is what we have now. And I think when you look at it that way, that, you know, you see Fortnite adding Will Smith and LeBron James and all that. Yeah, that's aesthetic stuff. But they've also added gameplay mechanic stuff that completely reinvent how you play the game. Like, Same with Warzone. I mean, every month or two, like, they'll change guns. They'll balance the guns. They'll balance vehicles. They'll balance all the weapons. They'll balance movement and all that sort of stuff. And you're kind of thinking to yourself, fuck, this gun was, you know, so good before. Now I need to relearn how to use a brand new gun or it has different recoil. 
And like, you know what I mean? And it's like, I just think we're, think, we're still all thinking about this as is Pez is a write-off because there's no Master League, it's going to be all online. And it's like, well, in three years' time, we're still going to be talking about eFootball. Like, there's going to be no Pez 23. There's going to be no Pez 24. You know what I mean? So like, I don't know, is that a bit of a cop-out on my behalf? But that's how I'm looking at it now, where I'm thinking this is like a continuous, like five, six-year plan that they have that they're going to like, you know, I mean, we saw the interview the other day and I don't know, I'll ask Ricky about this. I mean, you know, the developers are talking about adding Master League to mobile and stuff. You know what I mean? It's like, Mm. how don't they know that already? If Master League is meant to be coming, I don't know, you would assume within the next nine to 12 months at the, at the, at the latest. And it's like, you're still discussing whether it's going to be on mobile and you can like, to me, that sounds good in a way. Like, you know, I'm on the train or I'm on the bus or I'm, in the airport and I'm able to get out and do my transfers go back to my PS5 a few days later and have all the transfers done and play your games and whatever but I mean like what do you think of that Ricky I mean that it's that it just seems to be viewed now as a continuous like developed game rather than nine month development process like has that kind of like have you from your viewers and guys that watch your channel like do you think that they kind of understand that and accept that now or do you still think that they're thinking about it as like PES 22 um, no, I think everyone now knows it's it's e football. I mean, mm. look, everyone's gonna say like I've had so many comments. Oh, I'm not touching this game. Mm. You are. It's free, mate. Yeah. You're gonna download yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. play it. So you can say you're not gonna touch it. You are gonna try it out. Um, but I honestly think yeah, e football is going to be like PES 14 when it first launched. We could come back in two, three years time and go, wow, this game has really evolved. Once Unreal was it the five engines yeah. are out, right? I don't think February 20. So I don't know. I yeah, I don't think it's out. So it's not out yet, no. Right. So once the transition, I'm guessing they can just update from four to five. Then they've got to do whatever they do. Um, I, it could be really promising. Like in in the the long scheme of things, yes, this could be worth it. But it's it's initially how they've started the cycle of this new series. It's mm. not been impressive. You know, it's not been a good start. Just from running off what we've played and the trailers. But in the long run, yeah, this this could work out. But I don't like the controls from what I've seen, removing certain things. I know a lot of people say, well, now you can't just hold down a button and the teammate. But I don't play that way. When I'm playing Pez, I use the teammate press to, yeah, he goes for the challenge. I control the players behind him and I can keep the shape. If you remove that button, I, I, then to me, the AI has to be really, really mm. well programmed. Yeah. To the point that they're going to do all that work for me. I can't control 11 players. No one can. You control mm. one player. So, yeah, the, the control is a little bit concerning for me, but, you know, I'll play it. But I do think overall we, we're going to have to give this, yeah, plenty of, plenty of years to see what direction are Konami going to go. They only know, yeah. but then again, mm. they, do they really know? Because like you said, they ask him a question. They don't even know the outcome. Is it coming to mobile? It might be. I mean, yeah, you guys should know, surely. Uh, yeah, I mean, and and the same the same kind of criticism that I love at players who say, "Oh well, I've I've played you know I've played FIFA for ten hours, so I know how it plays." The same thing is going to have to be leveled at eFootball players. You are not going to know whether this game is good or bad within the first ten hours of playing it. Mm. You're going to need weeks, months yeah. mm-hmm. of playing it to know whether it's going to be good or not. That 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 you're gonna you know it, it, you know we've said this before about keeping the same type of energy. You've got to keep the same energy that you were criticizing. You know, you'd criticize FIFA or eFootball, whichever one is your preference. You've got to keep the same energy for criticizing your own game. So, in a sense of mm-hmm. if you're going to give one a shot, you've got to give the other a shot. So, as much as I am sitting here bad mouthing, oh, the train looks terrible. I didn't like the bay. Blah 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 blah. At the same time, I've still got to go in with a very open mind and go. Actually, let's download this game. Let's see how it goes. Let's keep playing it for couple of months mm-hmm. and then you can make your choices to mm. whether it is actually for you or not like, like that's 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 yeah. that's where we're at as a as a whole it's not just <laughs> it's in the bin you've got to be okay well let me actually try this out and see whether it is for me because for all we know uh, if you know if the a if the online ai and the offline ai are, are absolutely insane and they do all of that work for you you know, you one v one skillers that you see all around Twitch. You, you know, your players that you see who love to execute skill moves and take people on and make people look foolish. They'll absolutely relish this topic mm. because it'll be one on one and it'll be okay. I've got to take you on and I've got a skill move or I've got to do something to take it past you. 
you've got to you you're gonna have to give it breathing room. Mm. So as much as I am going, I'm not confident. At the same time, I'm not gonna lampoon it day one and be like, that's it, it's deleted off, that's it, job done. It's like I'm gonna have to give it a couple months to see if it if it does vibe with me. That mm. that that you know that that's that's what we've all got to do here. Like as much as we you know we're gonna criticize it, we've got to keep that we've got to keep that energy. Mm. Yeah, because I I always go back to the Pez eighteen beta. That was the beta that, like, universally everyone loved, but yet universally asked to change. <laughs> like, yeah, people yeah, don't realize because, the feedback yeah. that went back for that changed the game, and that's when things started to, to, to kind of, like, develop in a different way, because what was happening was, you know, you were going on playing the beta, and you were defending, and you were playing Pez as Pez 16, 17, 15, all the way that you'd always played. You know, stop the passing lanes, that's how you play Pez now. Pez yeah, yeah, is yeah. like that at the moment. The good players, you press with three or four players and you have, you know, complete domination of the, you know, the player when you're um, when you're able to do that and get on top and just turn him over in possession all the time. Very direct play. I mean, I know Ricky doesn't play like that. He's, you know, he's he's a purist, you know, he's the Jorgen Jor- yeah. Jor- Klopp of uh, the Pez world. But like, <laughs> right, you are the pep, but like, you have to... You have to, like, I, I always go back to that with Pez 18. And a lot of the feedback that I saw that went back was, it's too hard. You know, I'm, get, I'm conceding five goals a game. It's like, you know, they need to improve the defending. And what they did was literally make the defending automatic for, for an end result. Yeah. And, like, we see a similar thing now at the moment that, like, you literally just have to hold square in my club five star. And that's it. You can leave the pad down early if you're a good enough player and you've got an 100 and, you know, one rated Beckenbauer or 99 rated Piao or whoever you have. Whereas with this beta, like, I think people are going to have to play the game for what it is and not be expecting it to be Pez. And then if they do that, they're either going, like, you know, we all have different tastes. I mean, I'm sure there's movies or food that you guys like that I don't like or whatever, or music. Like, I mean, Wes is an Aston Villa fan, so that says enough about him. But, like, you know, we all have different tastes. I, 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 I personally can't understand. Like, we're all in our 30s. Like, are we going to sit there and play a game that we don't enjoy out of some sort of, like, loyalty of being involved in a community? I mean, like, I don't no, think we would, but no, no. nobody should. Like, everyone should choose their time wisely and spend their time wisely. Try FIFA. Try NBA 2K. Try WWE when it comes out. You know, try... Pez, try I eFootball. Tried yeah, and if it's not for you, Ricky, it's you <laughs> know you, you didn't like FIFA. Yeah. Yeah, I like tried FIFA? streaming it last week. I don't, honestly, I think FIFA's AI is. I was going to swear. I was won't swear, but it's horrendous. <laughs> yeah, uh, the it's, also it's... blocks are vile. The also blocking on that game is absolutely vile. But there's no I movement. Have... I, like no, I, I started the match isn't... and it was like all the players are standing there. I'm like, it makes Pez generally look really good. Like offline, online is mm. different, but offline it's yeah, like offline's good. Like FIFA is is crap for me, but you know, yeah, I tried it. I still like to try it because FIFA's presentation on a whole is is just a other, you know, it's another. another level. There's a lot um, of having to drag players back when you sh- like. It's like a lot of it yeah. is like dragging. From my own experience, <laughs> it's dragging midfielders back because the midfielders don't track back. Shout out to Matt Tennell yeah. and uh, and Brian who, who constantly talk about midfielders not dropping back on video games. Yeah, but they've come uh, out and I'm said sorry. this year like like that they, that's a yeah, deliberate development this. choice yeah. because yeah. they want more oh, yeah, goals. More like, goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like you have to accept that's the thing. You have to accept FIFA for what it is, and once you're able yeah. to get on board yeah. with that, it's like going in and watching a Fast and the Furious movie. It's like you're like it's like going it's in and being like oh. Too. The acting was so, you know, like, I thought this was going to be an Oscar winning acting performance by Vin Diesel. It's like, no, you're going in to watch Cars Fly, basically. I, 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 like in, I like in, I've always liked FIFA too. It's, it's that part in, in the original Space Jam where Michael Jordan gets right to the end and then he realizes that he can stretch. Mm-hmm. So then Daffy <laughs> Duck gets stretched and he's like, this is Looney Tune land. Anything can happen here. It's like, oh, oh, now you tell me. That's literally how it's felt for the last 12 months of playing FIFA is seeing people do ridiculous skill moves and game breaking goals. Like, oh, so that's how you're meant to score. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. I'm with you now. Yeah. Like, but, that's but that's it. Once you get on board with the mechanics yeah. of the game, it's like any game. Yeah. Like, as you said, Wes, you sit down and you say, right, so this is how you play. This is the meta. And then I enjoy playing the meta. Like I enjoy, like me and you can play FIFA the exact same way. We have the exact same tools at our, our disposal. You know, your reaction speed might be better than mine. Your finishing might be better. You're better at the game than me. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't mean that like 
you were born out of the womb being better at FIFA than me. Like you're just playing the game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like yeah. you're used you're getting used to the mechanics and stuff. It's the same way with Ricky. I mean, like I've seen some of your rage videos with my club, Ricky. Like you're one of the best possession players of Pez, thing. where it's actually enjoyable to watch you play Pez the way you yeah. play it offline. But like you would get slaughtered in my club no, in would. five star. That's you know what I mean? Doing. Because yeah. you don't yeah, play the way it's meant to be played. Um yeah. Which is funny for us watching, of course. Maybe e football might be better then if they're making it real, like skill. You know, you can't just press a button and defend. Maybe, you know, yeah. online will be better. You know, who knows? But well, they'll have to bring back either or. I think they'll have to bring back, like, as in, they will bring back. In my opinion, they'll either have to bring back the right stick switching. Yeah, that doesn't else, make sense. Or they'll have yeah, to bring that, that back. Like, or, or else the press. And, and, and uh, they'll either probably they'll either probably have to bring back right stick switching and then right right stick triggering the runs. Yeah, as well. I reckon they will. I, I think, yeah, I the runs are miss. Yeah. I think I think teammate press may as a as a controversial one. It might be if the AI is great. It might right. be something that. Yeah, you well, depends. If you beta had a press like had a very minimal press as far as I remember, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. But if you it held it, the player of, just to, came yeah, out like to, yeah, it was manual to, kind of like yeah. You it's the two three press code. that's stupid. I yeah, mean, that's too yeah, much. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. like I do think the R stick was a very weird omission from the beta that like you couldn't because it was so like you know like you were pressing the button and it's like no not him the other guy like I want the other guy and it's like oh god yeah. like you know like I presume they'll have to they'll have to add that. The way FIFA's doing it looks pretty cool. You know you can now press L one and you can like press an icon and it will switch to that player. Mm. Yeah, yeah, same as the, the NBA. Old, it's the old NBA, NBA yeah. one. Yeah, the NBA the, style, but that way at least you're not going to get pissed off because it keeps changing the wrong player. You just do it and it's done. You know? <laughs> I didn't mean that one. I meant a triangle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. NBA does it when you're passing as well. That you, like you press R one and then the button comes up over the player's head. Yeah, yeah and then you throw exactly, exactly where you want to throw. Like you know, yeah. it's it's really well thought out. But then you only have five players really on the the court, so you know. Yeah, but it could be done, I suppose, if you just targeted five random players, but. Yeah, no, I do I do think that like all the criticism is definitely warranted, you know, and, and then some because like you know, we are Pez fans at the end of the day, and it is sad to see Pez like kind of go, but at the same time, we don't know if what's why it's going is gonna be an improvement. Do you know that kind of way? Like if this was yeah, a thing yeah. where it was yeah. like, Oh, forget Pez, you know, forget that game. Like that's yeah, old we, news. This if, is look how yeah. good this looks. But it's just yeah, been if we, if we all had if we all had a crystal ball and we could all see twelve months into the future and we see uh E football's winning awards left, right and centre, it's heralded as the greatest football game ever. We'd all sit there and be like, Yeah, great, awesome. Mm. Now we can all sit back and go, oh, do you know what? Wait twelve months, it's gonna be the greatest game ever. Yeah. For the two games yeah. that I brought up earlier, and I need to bring this up as a point. I need to, because I know I know <laughs> it's burning a hole in my chest. <laughs> You've got UFL. Uh, who have put a very nice, very glossy uh, gameplay, yeah. well, gameplay trailer, which is basically cinematic, right? And these lot are getting praise for doing absolutely f all. <laughs> They've done nothing. <laughs> They've literally put out a trailer, and everyone's like, "Ah, oh, oh, yeah. bravo! Give me, give them the flowers. <laughs> yeah, give them, give life. them, the, give them, give them the trophies. Ah, oh, do you know what? This is amazing. And the same with goals. Goals have got like a Twitter account where they're like, "Oh, well, goals is even less. Mm. Yeah, goals, they're still hiring goals for just, it." Goals, goals is a mission statement. It's not yeah, even a game. It. Like yeah. it's like, oh well, this is what we want to do. It's like, okay, great. I want to marry Scarlett Johansson, but I, it's not going to happen. Like, do you know what I mean? I've like, got I've a got, number for you, Wes. Yeah, I've come, like, I've come to terms with this. Like, you know, it, she's like, a subscriber on YouTube. It. But like, you, you're getting people who are uni- who are like praising these games, which is great. Fine, if you're going to back them, great. Fine. Come yeah. to me when there's a game. Come to me when there's gameplay, and I'll get on that train with you. By the way, I happily will. Until that time comes, though, what have they got to offer us that's any different than the, the trailers that we've seen from FIFA that we've seen from eFootball? They've got yeah, it's nothing a funny else one. to yeah. offer us. I mean, I've seen the same people players. on Twitter. I've seen the same people on Twitter like complain about Pez not showing, you know, like not showing anything apart. Like even though Pez has shown gameplay, the trailers have been atrocious. Like at least they've actually shown gameplay, and it's like, well, you know like it or lump it at least you have something to judge and talk about i mean like yeah. they've showed a cgi trailer and you know a walkthrough of their offices and it's like oh this game is going to be unreal and it's like well what are you talking about you know what i mean like you could literally say that about any game Do you know like yeah. it, it is it's funny like do yeah. i have high hopes for it yeah i mean like ricky would that be something that would like 
because there's going to be no offline mode in that from what we what they've released like it's just going to be online one yeah. mode like ultimate team like would that be something that wouldn't you're going to still be playing your modded pez 2021 in like 10 years time <laughs> i'm like 55 years old i know it's uh actually i was gonna, i did do a kind of video earlier about it um just compa- just just stating about the four different games and saying that yeah that those games are strictly pretty much going to be online only mm. but it's kind of the way the world's gone game yeah. wise you know yeah. like there's yeah. very few offline games now that really are offline or well, offline only is different but they they get to focus more online than offline because mm. that's where they make the money yeah um i i'd still try them i mean i'm all for having new companies coming in trying something different it seems like they want to do a more sim approach from what they've stated i mean like i said it's a lot of talk we don't know we haven't seen yeah. anything you can big up whatever you want um but i also think it's konami's track record and that's why people konami don't have a good track record yeah. you know everything they put out has always been a little bit like well you've lied to us a few times um and then you've also got the debate where fifa players don't like pez so they slack on it and pez don't like fifa and mm. they do the same um but yeah i'll try them i'll give them a shot I, you know online or not i'll i don't know i just have to think where my channel is going to go i think at this point it's yeah. you know i'll definitely be doing FIFA a fifa 20... yeah yeah oh i'll do a career mode no yeah. doubt the whole creator club as long as i can find some sliders it's going to make it terrible no i've watched videos and i know people have been putting out beta videos when you shouldn't i mean it says don't put any they still do it i was like all right but the yeah. gameplay it's still fifa at the yeah. end of the day unless yeah. they change their engine it's still gonna have the same mechanics i saw an ai versus ai match it looked dreadful i mean mm. it just looked like on legendary they were just going ding 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 like back and forth mm. like there's i don't really know what ea watch when they program their ai but yeah, um, I don't know where I was going at this point, but um, somewhere. But yeah, I'll try online. I'll give it a bash, and and we'll um, we'll see. Yeah, how see, it goes. The thing is, um, where they're going with it is like the same as every game. Like, who wants to sit down and play five or six games of a master league with like no goals scored or conceded? You know what I mean? And be like, oh, I really yeah. enjoyed them five draws, Jose Mourinho style, parking the bus. Like, you always want to score a top in you know banger or you want to like yeah, because, do a crazy because, dribble or yeah. that's just yeah, what you're playing whole, games for like yeah. it's not real life you know yeah no, exactly the whole, the whole yeah. point the whole point is then is that you then get your clip and go oh do you know what i'll send it to the boys in the whatsapp exactly group, yeah or i'll whack it onto facebook or i'll whack it onto twitter or i'll whack it onto instagram <laughs> and then like everyone else can see and be like oh this is amazing like wow well done like like that that again we we talk about it constantly about it being a social experience we are in a world now where it's far more social than anything that there ever has been before. Yeah. Like, we're not in the mid-2000s where, you know, Twitter is a twinkle in somebody's eye and Facebook is only just getting off the ground and, and all of these mm. other bits. And MySpace is still a thing. Like, it, we're getting so... We're getting... Ve- we're very, very far down the track here where it's completely different. Everything is digital. Everything is a footprint. You know, you can... I can, you know, go and score a goal on FIFA and have it uploaded to Twitter within seconds. Yeah. You know, it's... Instant now. It's, Mm-hmm. You know, it's 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 accessibility, and it's that it's that way of doing things. Mm. I just think that maybe these games companies need to catch up a bit. I mean, you know, I know you mentioned WWE like briefly, like very tenuously, but you know that you can see the differences in how they they felt about their mm. audience. They realised they massively ballsed up twenty twenty, mm-hmm. decided not to put out twenty twenty one, and they then changed what looks like to be. Their, their title so it now comes out in march next year yeah which you know it's given them far more time to run it off you know and, and they've got a trailer out for SummerSlam, and i think people raised eyebrows of the fact that it's coming out in 2022 like but that you know fair play to them they're giving themselves as much time as they want yeah. to be able to put the game out so you know fair fair plays to them yeah yeah but but may, maybe that maybe that's where we're going to look to <clears throat> eFootball and go well actually in march once everything is out or once everything's been out for a couple of months and we've all had to have a look at it, we might all be then be looking at it going, well, actually, this game is actually really good. Mm. We just don't know yeah. yet. That's and the it's, thing. It's that, it's that peril of not knowing that everyone just sits there and goes, I don't know, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a bit dicey. It's like, yeah, because no one knows. Mm. No, one, no one knows yeah. at this point. There's, no, there's not been any hands-on gameplay of it because, you know, E3 wasn't a thing. 
you know, Gamescom was just the trailer. It there hasn't been any physical mm. physical ways of playing it apart from the online performance test. Yeah. So and I think, think and then like if you if you look at like as well like what is also strange, but it's like it's just something that we don't really think about. If you like, if you look at something like Cyberpunk that came out, I mean, Cyberpunk mm-hmm. like were basically shown off the game in its best possible state, like that was nowhere near what launched. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they, they did the opposite. Well, PS4 compared to the PC, which yeah. is different. Yeah. I mean, whereas Konami are just saying, like, hold my beer, we're going to fucking, we're going to show you this game running on mobile. You know what I mean? We don't give, yeah, you know, yeah. we don't care. Like, we're going to show, show you. We're going to show you, we're going to show you how much, how, what, what technology we've used yeah. to capture the footage. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a complete, like, and, and that's one other thing as well that, like, I think that's, you know, you have to, you have to, very, you have to be very careful because it's easy to so, show a CGI trailer and then, you know, like at least with Halo, when Halo came out, people were like, oh, it looks, you know, it looks terrible. It looks this and it looks that. And it's like, yeah, but it's running in 120 frames per second. You know, it's 4K. Yeah, okay, the visuals aren't up there with like The Last of Us 2 or Red Dead Redemption 2 or any of them. But like, there's going to be 64, you know, people on the screen, like fighting online. Like, you know, it's like, there's a lot more going on than just like one person walking through the wilderness. Like, so yeah, I do think like Konami need to like sell their game more, but then at the same time, I'm glad that they're not just showing like, you know, like ultra settings on a PC and then you get it on your phone and you're like, the saving grace we can have is at least they haven't no man sky did. That's all we can say. At least they haven't done <laughs> yeah. a No Man's Sky. Like that's that's that's, that's the only saving grace I can really give it at this point. Yeah. All right, boys. We'll wrap it up there. I mean, I was going to mention the king is home, Ronaldo, but uh, you're outnumbered, Wes, so I won't. Ooh. Hey, listen, listen. I might be. A, I might be. A, yeah, mate. Yeah, I, I tell you, what, anytime I score on stream, Ronaldo, it gets a sue. Yeah, it always does. Sue. But I, 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 even as a neutral, was delighted. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? That. Great because for the Premier League. It was, it was kind of a win for football that Man City didn't get him because myself and uh, my pal Jay, we we were in a party the night before all of that whole thing happened, and the whole the whole night before it was, ah, oh, he's going to City, he's going to City, and, and we were in a chat and we were just like, yeah, this is weird. Like, yeah, I don't um, think he was ever going to go to City. Go- was I don't he? think he's going. Yeah. Like, I don't think he's going. And then and then he turned around. And he was like, if United come in for him. He ain't going to City, and I mm-hmm. went, yeah, but you know what? He keeps saying they're not in for him, and then it started to just. It was the Oli press conferences where it was, if you're a professional, you you when you play for Man United, you don't go to City. I'm like, that's a dig at you, Ronaldo. That's one, <laughs> yeah. right? And then it and then it started to slide, and then Rio it was, Ferdinand. The minute the minute the press conference came out, where he was like, oh, you know what? He knows what we think about him, and you know, if he ever wants to leave Juventus, he knows we're here. I was like, oh my god, that's yeah. it, that's it, it's on, I'm it's home. absolutely on. And then it just, it was very European Super League. It just kind of fell apart. Like uh, it was very cool. Though. I love that. And, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, I tell you something. The first time he scores at Old Trafford, which will happen. The place is just gonna go bananas against Villa. It's gonna be a full house. It's oh, nah, gonna be bonkers, nah, nah. isn't it? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't do it against us, and we'll be fine. Like, the <laughs> they got Newcastle I... September 11th, so that's gonna be the. Oh. Yeah, he'll, be, he'll definitely yeah. be playing. Uh, that'll be his first game. Mm, yeah. Will he play him? Oh yeah. I tell you, Ollie, Ollie got a <laughs> soul shot. Like I <laughs> plays you know, him I watched... right wing. Plays him right wing. Exactly, there we exactly. go. <laughs> I watched I watched the Wolves game and United were terrible. They yeah, really they were, were absolutely credit to Wolves. They were high pressing, but you know Fred can't control anything. And but then Solskjaer at the end of the game, he he said that they like had the same amount of shots. And I was like, what game are you watching? So like seriously, his his managerial skills sometimes are so questionable. But somehow <laughs> we is... haven't lost an away game in like thirty games. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know what, how. But what, what I would say is because I saw a lot of chat whenever a man and it's only ever with Man United. It's not with any other team that I see this on social media. Whenever that starting lineup comes out for United. All of a sudden, it's trending. It's why is he playing? Why is he playing Fred <laughs> yeah. Why is he not? Why is he playing Mata? Why is he playing Matic? Why is he doing all this? And I'm like, at the end of the day, it's the same way that we saw in the World Cup or sorry, the Euros with Southgate was was that everybody would come out and belly ache about the lineup, but the minute the game's over with and you've won, nobody cares. No, no one cares. Exactly. Like, yeah, no, that's it. When you're winning, you can't see anything to anybody. Yeah. As soon as soon as that Greenwood goal went in, I went, thank God. I, from, a, from, oh, again, no. from a neutral, I was like, thank God. I was like, I don't have to read Ollie out. I don't have to read yeah. Man United fans getting overly like jumpy. I can just go, 
okay, my, my two United pals who I play FIFA with, I can have a peaceful conversation with them. I don't have to yeah. listen to, I'm sick of Fred. I'm sick of McTominay. Sick of this, sick of that, yeah. Ah, poor old Fred. I love yeah. Fred. He's like, a trier, you know, like. Yeah, I mean, you know. God Technically, he's, he's shocking, you know, though. Do you know what I mean? Well, Dan like, James is gone, isn't he? Yeah, so yeah. turning in for him. Yeah, that's that's yeah, going to be the great, the great, the great, the uh, great, the great number switcheroo because Cavani yeah. will take twenty-one, Ronaldo will take seven, and yeah. everyone will have what they want. It'll be exactly, great. that's the way it works, <laughs> man. Yeah, that, they sold Dan James just for his his jersey. Really, that's literally it. They've literally gone. <laughs> you know what? Cavani wants to get out. Get <laughs> out. Sling it. Yeah. Uh, uh, look, I hope he. I just hope he comes back and just like. I don't think they will win the league. This year, but like, if he came back and just had a look, nah, they like, still need a few more. Yeah, they got the a DMF. Is, the they got a DMF. I, I'd fancy if, he, if they won the league with Ronaldo. No one in their right mind can debate the the Ronaldo is not the greatest. Oh no, he definitely. He I'm definitely sorry, you can't. You can't. Man United is, have been dreadful. And yeah, yeah the thing is, you've got you've got Messi who who didn't. And, and again, this is the point again that that people didn't really still take on. Messi didn't want to leave Barcelona. Mm. He no, wanted he to no. stay there. He's only gone to PSG yeah. because they're the only club that can afford him. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yeah. he'd be having a whole year out or he would have to retire or he'd yeah. have to go to America, mm. which neither one of those things he wants oh. to do, right? Uh, Ronaldo's choice at his age has gone, actually, you know what? I, I've, I've done a couple of years in Juve. I didn't deliver him the Champions League that I said I was going to do the impossible. Of. We'll, we'll kind of forget that quote and we'll go back to basically the homecoming which mm. is again he's not going to be the player he was when he left but he's still no, Cristiano awesome. Ronaldo he's mm. still Ronaldo that's it, it, it yeah it, it he's the man you know it, it doesn't equate he still you know, scored 29 goals yeah you know, he still outscored the, he scored he had the top scorer in Syria wasn't he yeah, yeah. By he five and in the Euros only yeah, it's, yeah it's, even in the Euros so, yeah. you know. it's mad and the, guy, and the guy's got the fitness of a 24 year old like yeah, at 36 like he's basically he's footballing Benjamin Button that's he's nearly as fit as myself <laughs> nearly as fit as like, myself no, yeah 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 <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say you're wearing. I'm just the fit to drop. Jersey. That's all I am. Is Fuck that me. is that the e football jersey? You got the yellow, and yellow and blue on. No, it's, it? it's a local <laughs> jersey. A local jersey, man. My local, my local, uh, for where I'm from, you know, represent. Yeah. But uh, yeah, boys, we'll end it there because I have to go, and Ricky, I know, is going pumping some iron in the gym. So, um, yeah, yeah, we'll end it there. Good chat, boys. I, I mean, put the trailer on while I'm working out. Yeah, I do. Work. I mean that. I mean that will certainly awesome. that will certainly give you more. Of <laughs> it certainly would. <laughs> yeah, definitely inspirational. But uh, yeah, we'll end it there. I'll hopefully get this up. Maybe what day is it today? Tuesday is it? Monday. 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 Yeah. So tomorrow we'll we'll throw it up. And uh, if we've any other news, Ricky, appreciate you taking the time, man, because I know you're a few hours behind. Wes, nah, as usual, yeah. rocking the new Pulse headphones. But, yeah, uh, man, I, I thought I'd upgrade. Uh, I, I gave myself a little treat. Oh, they're the PS5 nice. ones? Yeah, yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah, oh, okay. Nice. They're, they're pretty nice. decent, yeah. They're very nice. Nice. They're like very, the 3D very, audio very, kind very of thing. Very, very comfortable. You can, it's hard to find them. I couldn't find any of them. They ran out of stock. Where did I get mine from? Oh, yeah, I got mine, I got mine from Argus, which obviously is right, a slightly, slightly, slightly uh, big yeah. job for you, that is, Ricky. Yeah, it's a bit, <laughs> of, a, bit of a drive, that, isn't it? Fly home, so. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, we'll uh, check us out on was this, what's it called? SoundCloud? Yeah, everywhere. SoundCloud, check SoundCloud. us everywhere. We're everywhere. We're everywhere. Yeah. We're everywhere. So if you're watching the, the video, it's on YouTube. <laughs> so um, yeah, we will talk to you later in the next episode. Hopefully, we'll have some some more news to discuss. Again, thanks to the two boys, and uh, yeah, we will talk to you later. Take care. Bye.